Hey yo, how you doing? All right, so we got Zafros versus G Wolf right now. Last our game, Mario versus Steve. This is a interesting matchup to say the least. Um, but Mario has to look out for a lot of stuff, respect a lot of things, and right now we are at an even game. But is it really even against Steve? Hell no. Try and catch the whip with the F smash. Not gonna connect. Let's see, back throw off the blocks. Oh, diamonds on deck. Diamonds dancing. Call him Drake. Now, uh, Zapros really has to be careful here. Ooh, this is... Oh, I, I got to go to losing this too. God damn. Yo, this bracket is crazy. Oh, my God. You jumped for your life. Don't do it. Yikes. Damn. All right. G-Wolf takes that game. One. Last hit situation, Zafros bet it all on black. It was not black, it was red. Or it was blue if you count the diamond, but diamonds are clear, don't really matter. So game two, where will we be going? I doubt we're going back to PS2. I feel like that's a really good Steve stage. I don't think Zafros wants to go there. I'm assuming, oh, are we going back? I think we are going back. We are going back. Okay, we're, they running it back now. So. From what I saw at the very end of that game, I feel like Steve got too much momentum at the end of the game when it really mattered the most and took full advantage of it. Good, good job on G-Wolf for playing Steve. Up throw, up air, up air. Not gonna, not gonna go for the up, he knows his combo routes. Ooh, okay, Zaki, quick zero to death. Let's get it, baby. I bet. So, Zafros, very solid start to this game. But now, Steve. Steve's very capable of doing the exact same thing. So, Zafros really needs to be careful now. He's playing with the lead, so he is a little safer. But, Steve.
Steve can take this lead back in a hot second. But right now, it doesn't have the materials to do so. Still has wood. 80% now on G Wolf. Up smash out of shield. Not going to take the sock, though. That's. It's a really good up smash, but it's not going to kill that early. Unless, like, you're, like, super high up, which Steve can do off of blocks. Trying to cape the blocks. I haven't seen that before. I guess, like, half of the Steve matchup, I feel, is just finding your way to get around blocks and the footstool into the down air taking that first stock for G-Wolf. That anvil is not to be messed with. And now gold's on deck. Now, gold makes frame data a lot faster, but the block canceling, the block disappearing, canceling the throw before the throw activates. That's it's, I learn something new every time I watch this character play. Oh, God. Yeah. Reverse up smash. This is an even game now. This is crazy. Down air, not going to take the stock. But doesn't have doesn't have sword on deck. So forward smash, not going to be really that much of a threat right now unless G-Wolf can get that diamond sword. But I think he wants to save that for the last stock right now. Let's see how they play. Oh, trying to go for the down air, looking, looking for a landing. Oh, he's charging a smash attack. Oh, the bait! And the up smash. And he's stuck in the cart. And he's out. Okay, good. And diamonds on deck. All right, so Zach Zafros once again playing with the lead. Looking for a big combo starter. But safe, obviously respecting the down air because down air will come out. He can jump out of down air. It's like, it's a stall and fall, but it's not really stall and fall. And the forward smash through the blocks trying to catch Zach Zafros approaching. Going to come and clean that stock. We're in a last stock situation once again. Jab into F smash. Oh my, oh. <sighs> Steve wins. I gotta play Zach King Loser now. <laughs>